George. And we are back for PWW Roundtable Talks, episode one. I am here today. I am G. I am him. Here back with my friends. This is our first time bringing aboard other members of PWW. So I'd like to introduce you to you guys. Dakota's back again today. Dakota, say what up to the audience. How are you doing? How are you doing? And our other guests, if you guys would like to introduce yourselves, welcome. Thank you for joining us today. And let's get going. Oh, hi, Rami, <laughs> a.k.a. Enigma. Uh, total heel mark. So anything heel, I am a fan of. So this has been a very struggling week for me. Go <laughs> ahead. <laughs> I'm David. You might remember me as the guy who said that Adam Cole, that Adam Page should lose the title to Brian Danielson. I have been a wrestling fan since maybe 1990 or 1991. I have followed wrestling all my life from the days of Hulk Hogan all the way to the era of Roman Reigns, whom I'm acknowledging right now. Acknowledging. Head of the table. Head of the yes. table. Tribal chief. So okay. we are all here today. It's been a rough couple weeks for us as wrestling fans, especially you guys who are older fans, the Attitude Era fans who grew up and watched it through. As we know, we've recently lost Scott Hall. Um, on top of all that, we got the recent news that Triple H is officially retiring. So back-to-back -back members of the Click have wrestling-related news. Triple H is no longer going to be an in-ring competitor. We don't even know what the future brings for him. So today we thought we'd all come together try to reminisce, talk about the history of Triple H, our fandom of Triple H, and just give that man his flowers while we can and show the appreciation we have for Triple H as wrestling fans in the industry. 